Yep, <laughs> we've all been there, right? Uh -huh. You start on a weight loss journey, losing weight, feeling good, then yep. you hit that plateau and the pounds mm. just stop coming off. It's very frustrating. Nothing is more frustrating than a plateau. So to help all of us get back on track and learn how to break that plateau, we turn to personal trainer and nutritional coach, Lisa Mateo. Lisa, we are so happy to have you here. As many of us find ourselves sometimes in a weight loss plan, <laughs> we hit that plateau, right? What is a weight loss plateau exactly? Okay, so the weight loss plateau is when you're on a weight loss journey and you have maybe five, 10, 15 pounds to go and all of a sudden you're stuck at that mm. same number on the scale for not two or three weeks, but for a month or longer. And here's the thing, it's normal. Yes, it is. <laughs> I've been there, like I've lost 50 pounds and kept it off for 15 years. But the thing is, is that I had to make different adjustments along the way. So mm. it's about energy and how you expend it. So it's the calories consumed, the food you're eating versus the calories expended, the calories that you're expending, like exercise. So when you stop that weight loss and you notice it stopped, that's because you have a deficit. It might be normal, but it's like the most frustrating thing yeah. when you hit and that scale is not moving. So yeah. what do you recommend yeah. for the, the calories in part of that? What do you recommend? How much should we eat? Sure, sure. So there's two ways to think about it. Here's the thing, either you're eating too much or a lot of the times people are not eating enough. And that's mm -hmm. what you have to think about. Um, if you're eating between 1,000 and 1,200 calories, that's not a lot. And if you're hungry at the same time, you're probably miserable too. So <laughs> you have to start thinking about what you're eating. So start eating different things that you have to incorporate into your diet. More protein and more fiber is huge, especially as we start to get older. That fiber is so important because it helps with your gut health. It helps keep you regular. Um, so you want foods that'll keep you fuller longer. So things like raspberries and blackberries are full of fiber and so great for you. Um, things like beans, black beans, chicken peas or garbanzo beans, however you like to say them. They're great to put on salads if you want to make a soup too. They're incredible. Um, sweet potatoes are great too. You can have them for breakfast, have them as a side dish for dinner. Avocado, everyone loves, right? Guacamole, hello. But you have to think about it. It's a healthy fat, but it has the fiber in there too, which is also great for you. Those are some huge things that you can do. And even if you're eating too much, you can make those adjustments too, so that you're replacing those energy dense foods with foods like this that will mm -hmm. keep you fuller longer. Yeah, how do we know if we're eating too much or too much of one thing? Oh yeah, definitely. The one thing I always tell my clients is, you have to keep a food journal, even if it's for like two or three days, just to keep track of how much you're eating, what you're eating, and when you're eating it. Um, that's huge because if you're those late night snackers, that can be an issue. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, the late night snackers, you know, know your food portions. I always tell people, you know, you want to eat carbs, especially if you work out. If you're eating carbs, think of a fist. You know, if you have rice, think of a fist. It'll be the size of a fist. If you're eating protein, like a piece of chicken or a fish, it should be the size of your palm. So keep track of your portions. I know you mentioned the other side of this is the exercise portion. We need to exercise every day? Yeah, most definitely. Here's the thing. Um, what you can start to do if you want to get more exercise in there, start thinking about the volume of exercise. So if you go for a walk, let's say for 30 minutes, try and bump it up to 45 minutes, you know, but a lot of people out there are saying, Lisa, I don't even have time for the 30 minutes. You want me to get <laughs> exercise more? Are you crazy? So here's what you can do. Start thinking about different ways that you can increase your calorie burn throughout the day. I found a little secret. I'm telling you, I love these things. You know how you have resistance loops and bands that you yep, work out yeah. with? Well, now there are yoga pants that have them built inside of them. I'm oh, telling you, it's a crazy thing. I'm, I'm wearing them right now. Hold on, let me show you here. So yeah, there's eight resistance bands built into the pants. Yeah. And every time you walk, <laughs> it's resistance pulling. So it, it's really crazy. So that's another great thing. Strength oh, training is really? huge. Ladies, right. do you pick up weights? I need to <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. So you need to pick up a pair of weights. I'm telling you, it's why I created my program. It's called Fitness Forward. It's it's strength training, but low impact because I used to do the crazy workouts and I would jump and do all these things and I hurt myself. Okay. So we had to start being aware of how we're exercising. Strength training, two to three days a week. That's all my program has. Each one is half an hour and it's just adding that weight into there because as we start to eat, we, we lose that lean muscle. Muscle. And and that lean muscle is what helps us burn extra calories. And when you strength train, you're burning calories throughout the day, even when you're done working out. So there's a double bonus there. So strength training is huge.
All right, now Lisa also reminds us we can park our car further away. True. We don't have to get the closest spot to the entrance. Yep. We can take the stairs instead of the elevator. Just those little things every day can uh, can help really yep. boost it all. Right. So, right. yeah. You can go to her website to check out Lisa Fitness. Sorry. Let me try that again. Lisa <laughs> has again, a fitness Kristen. forward program. <laughs> and you can get more tips at lisamateo.net. That's what Especially I was trying to say. On that plateau, and you need ideas for how to break it. Yeah. She had some fantastic ideas.